On December 23, 962, Christian forces under Byzantine commander Nikiforos II Phokas stormed into the city of Aleppo in the Levant, earning the future Byzantine emperor the title of Pale Death of the Saracens. <laughs> The Byzantine Empire, headquartered in Constantinople, now Istanbul, Turkey, was basically the eastern half of the Roman Empire and lasted until it was replaced by the Muslim Ottoman Empire in 1453. Nikiforos sacked Aleppo, currently the largest city in Syria and now racked by a horrible civil war, resulting in mass destruction and death in the city. Nikephoros took for himself 1,400 mules and 2,000 camels, as well as 390,000 silver dinars. We do not know how much money that represents today, but we reckon it is a lot. This success and other military triumphs resulted in Nikephoros' ascension to the throne. The new emperor continued to direct military campaigns, and the resultant expense of keeping his army well-fed and well-equipped cost so much money that cuts had to be made elsewhere. As usual, when cuts in government spending are made, there are people disaffected by their perception of being shorted. These included the church, which was disallowed from establishing new monasteries so as not to divert donations to those, and thus had its power curbed, as well as some otherwise powerful people, including the emperor's wife. The wife of Nikiforos and her lover masterminded a coup in which the 57-year-old emperor was murdered in his bed only seven years after achieving the throne. The assassins had dressed as women to sneak into the palace, and when word of the plot reached Nikiforos, the subsequent search neglected his wife's quarters, where of course the killers were hiding. In the manner of the day, the now-dead emperor was beheaded, and his now crownless head was paraded around town on a spike. Nikiforos left a legacy of military writings about tactics, both conventional for the time, and also guerrilla tactics for fighting a war against a greatly superior foe. Not all appreciated the emperor, and this description by Bishop Lutprand of the Orthodox Church remains as a reminder of that lack of respect. Bishop Lutprand wrote, A monstrosity of a man, a pygmy, fat-headed and like a mole as to the smallness of his eyes, disgusting with his short, broad, thick, and half-hoary beard, disgraced by a neck an inch long, very bristly through the length and thickness of his hair, in color an Ethiopian, one whom it would not be pleasant to meet in the middle of the night, with extensive belly, lean of loin, very long of hip considering his short stature, small of shank, proportionate as to his heels and feet, clad in a garment costly but too old, and foul-smelling and faded through age, shod with shoes, bold of tongue, a fox by nature, in perjury and lying, a Ulysses. As a question for my students, what is your opinion of Nikiforos as an emperor? And to everybody, if you like this video and would like to receive notification of new videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to History and Headlines. Your viewership is much appreciated.